Hey everyone, Dinesh Sirisena here, and today we're going to be talking about injections to the tibialis anterior tendon. As with my previous video about imaging the tibialis anterior tendon, I suggest having the patient lying in a supine position with the knee bent and the foot placed flat on the examination couch. This should be much more comfortable for the patient and also means that when you are undertaking the injection, they'll be a lot more stable and hopefully it will be easier to do so. This is how I would undertake the injection. Placing the transducer either in a short or long axis orientation, I would guide the needle in using an in-plane approach. Ideally, what you're hoping to do is bring the needle around the tendon into the sheath if you're doing a steroid injection or if you're doing a PRP or prolotherapy injection, you want to guide the needle directly into the tendon and then using a fenestration technique, you want to distribute the substrate. Because of the awkward position of the tibialis anterior tendon, you may need to adjust the height of the examination couch, your body posture a little bit to make it easier to undertake the injection. And so this is what you're hoping to see on the ultrasound. In the short axis orientation, you want to try and see the needle come in as horizontal as possible to the transducer, and then you can guide it into the plane between the tendon sheath and the tendon itself, if that's what you're hoping to achieve in terms of a steroid injection. Or if you want to do a PRP or prolotherapy injection, you want to guide that needle into the tendon itself and then distribute the PRP or prolotherapy using a fenestration technique. In the long axis orientation, you may guide the needle in at a bit of a steeper angle, maybe 10 to 15 degrees. And again, if you are trying to do a steroid injection, you want to guide the needle into the space between the tendon sheath and the tendon. Or if you're doing a PRP or prolotherapy, you may want to guide the needle into the tendon itself. And again, using a fenestration technique, distribute the substrate. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg.